Hey guys, 8-Bit Dave here, coming to you from the minus 40 degree weather of the crypto winter. Let's go inside. Well guys, it's time to heat things up with a little bit of discussion about Bitcoin Satoshi's vision. The previous fork of Bitcoin Cash, splitting it into Bitcoin ABC and Bitcoin SV, was quite contentious. And so I figure an appropriate drink to have today is Naughty Spice Porter by Fort Gary Brewing Company. It's uh, time to indulge with this rich winter porter spiked with seasonal spices like cinnamon, allspice, nutmeg, aged oak chips that provide a subtile vanilla flavor and aroma. Being in the middle of crypto winter and talking about a subject that might be a little spicy or naughty. I think this is a perfect drink. It's dark. So recently, Jimmy Song came out with a video, three reasons why he's not a fan of Bitcoin SV. And I'd like to go over some of those reasons and also a previous video he had done a while ago about Bitcoin Cash. First, let me start by saying I actually am a fan of Jimmy Song. I do watch a lot of his videos. It helps me to understand a Bitcoin maximalist point of view. He does have a large technical understanding of Bitcoin and the code, and uh, I appreciate his opinions. And this is just my personal opinion. Also, I'll throw in there, this isn't investment advice, so don't invest based on anything I say. Well, Jimmy's first argument is that because of Craig Wright, who's one of the leading champions of Bitcoin SV, and arguably you could say the reason why Bitcoin SV exists, he's kind of shady in that he's claiming to be Satoshi. There's evidence that he's told lies or being a bad actor. And uh, in a lot of ways, maybe not a trustworthy person. Now, that may be true. However, using Bitcoin SV doesn't mean you have to trust Craig Wright. Obviously, he may or may not be Satoshi. Who really knows? Everybody's told lies. I don't think there's anyone around who's innocent in that department in life who says, I've never told a lie. Well, you know, there is conflicting things he said. I looked into it. And even though I like a lot of the things he says, I kind of don't really trust him either. So I kind of give that a half point in terms of it's true that Craig Wright has said and done shady things like most of us. However, that doesn't change the fact that Bitcoin SV is run on cryptography, math, blockchain. None of these things have anything to do with, with Craig. And the system for Bitcoin SV isn't that much different than Bitcoin Core. The only thing that's different is They've eliminated the block size and brought in a few of the original opcodes, which allows for some interesting ideas. So Jimmy's second criticism of BSV is that there's no development. He says if you check the GitHub page, well, there's no commits in the last couple months, which is wrong. All you have to do is go look for yourself. True, it's not as decentralized and there's not as many contributors, but contribution and development is there. It's false to say that there isn't. Also, if you look, there's been quite a few third-party vendors contributing to the space. Also, in terms of node implementation, there is Asyncs, which is developing a separate node so that it's not as centralized on the BSV slash Nchain slash CoinGeek development, which 
is a good thing because it further decentralizes the creation of node software, which is honestly a problem for most coins. Even if you look at Bitcoin, most of the nodes are Bitcoin Core. There are very few nodes that aren't running on Bitcoin Core, and this is centralization on both sides, on the BTC side, even on the ABC side, and BSV. And I personally feel that really there is no truly decentralized coin unless at least 50% of your nodes are running on alternative node implementations. Because right now, the same argument could be made for BTC, where Bitcoin Core controls all the implementation of anything to do with the nodes. And it's not really decentralized. So the third criticism is that Bitcoin SV, the main actors, Kelvin Air and Craig Wright, behave erratically or strange. Well, there was a little bit of a personality cult there, and that may be true, but in the end, it's the same as the first point. Does it really matter? As long as the chain is secure, you have miners, nobody's hacking it. So you have a couple eccentric people that try to control their money, as it were, or push forth ideas they believe in. I don't find that unusual personality. That's what eccentric people do. Moving to another point from a previous video of Jimmy Song, he was saying a while back in a video against Bitcoin Cash that he felt Bitcoin Cash relies on Keynesian economics. And I'm sure he applies the same thoughts to BSV, being that it comes from Bitcoin Cash. So in the argument, he basically states that because the Bitcoin Cash philosophy was to focus on the utility of Bitcoin being a peer-to-peer -peer digital currency system and having lower transaction fees and more of them to make mining profitable, that it was Keynesian. However, that's not what Keynesian economics is. Keynesian economics is the belief of a central power that can expand and contract the money supply at will in order to stabilize its value or push it up during a depression. Keynesian economics was born out of the Great Depression. So in order to have a Keynesian coin, what you would actually need is some kind of oracle to feed the coin the price, and then the coin would have in it some kind of algorithm to say, hey, the price of this coin has dropped. Let's decrease the block reward for miners to push the price up. And Bitcoin Cash, and by extension, Bitcoin SV does not do this. It is not Keynesian. It has the same economic system as laid out in Bitcoin Core. The only difference is, is by having a larger block size, you're not just focusing on store of value like BTC, but you're also focusing on utility, which is being a, a way to transact. Now, I understand arguments against this. For example, Richard Hart makes a great argument against focusing on this. His argument is that gold is $7 trillion as a market cap, and Visa, MasterCard, and PayPal put together is only about $700 billion. And I see the logic there. You can't deny that. But with that being said, I don't think there's anything wrong with trying to explore the option of having a blockchain-based peer-to-peer digital currency. Obviously, expanding the block size hasn't hurt BSV. They mine blocks as large as 103 megabytes. 
And having these large blocks interests me. And personally, I'm going to continue keeping my eye on BSV. I'll throw a shade when necessary, but in all honesty, I like where they're going. I'm not dumping BTC. I'm not picking sides. I just feel we need to look at things with open and honest reflection and understand what everybody in the space is doing and just relentlessly throwing shade and having odd arguments and calling something Keynesian when it has the same economic system as something else that you like doesn't make sense. And either Jimmy Song is unable to understand that or unwilling to understand it. Since he seems like a smart guy, I think just his Bitcoin maximalism is coming out. And like with most Bitcoin maximalists who are in early, they're only interested in pumping their bags. And they feel that anything else in the space who's trying to improve or do something different is a threat. I personally disagree. I think we could have a world with lots of different cryptocurrencies and they can get along just fine. Just like with fiat currencies. Anyways, that's my thoughts on BSV. In my next video, I'd like to invite you all to have a drink with me. I'm going to be drinking Dos Equis, and the topic is going to be a project I'm really excited about. Obviously, with the X theme, it's Bitcoin Hex, which is being created by Richard Hart. And I hope to see you all there with a beer in hand. Thank you.